let's watch this. The community council holds Blizzard accountable for classic Wrath of the Lich King server issues. Here we go. Jesus. Holy fuck. Okay. <sighs> this is huge drama. Yeah, this guy's like calling out Blizzard. All right, this guy's name is misspelled. He's on the Blizzard uh, uh, World of Warcraft Classic Community, Community Council. Council. I'm going to mute alerts while I read this. And he's in the guild, misplaced. I couldn't post until now, but I have a lot to say here. I'll be blunt, honest, and I will do my best to remain civil in what I'm about to say, because God only knows how much I want to be rude right now. Uh -oh. I am extremely disappointed and angry. The following. This is from Blizzard Egrand, the Blizzard dev, said, There's no technology to solve the server issue. There are no hardware solution issues to this either. Uh-oh. Our poster uh -oh. here says, This is blatantly false. The technology and hardware both exist in 2022. It is not impossible to have a scalable server service within a AAA game that can accommodate far more than the current load of players trying to play the game. How do I know? Because I work in this very industry as a software engineer in online services. Oh. God damn. He actually has his... Okay. Yeah, they're, they're getting their... Oh, fuck. All right, here we go. They're actually getting audited. I will not let my profession be disgraced like that with these lies. <laughs> this guy's going in. Holy shit. I know the technology that we have today, the one we had a decade ago, and I know exactly what the real problem here is. Blizzard considers Classic as a side project, a cash cow, and does not provide the necessary amount of resources that the Classic project requires. Two years of Classic. The issue of queues... We're there at, Cla at the release of Classic I and TBC this, yeah, Classic yeah. both. It was obvious to everyone that the same issue would just repeat itself for Classic Wrath. Not because it's an impossible issue to solve, but because Blizzard, uh, because of Blizzard's constant refusal to spend the money to provide a reasonable service to their customers. And don't pretend like this is not true either. We can tell. It's written on the wall in big bold letters. From automation of silences and suspensions and bans proven by streamers, Oh, wow! To the complete lack of communication with the community. Over a week of silence on this topic alone. To the non-existent customer service, anyone who has opened a ticket knows how bad it is. To the lack of updates on features like your new and improved updated LFD despite the mountain of feedback pointing out the flaws and the lack of quality of life features like filtering, resizing, etc. To the last minute yeah, of could everything. Be better. Everything points towards this. A bare-bone team of developers trying their best to make one of the most popular online games of 2022, of 2020 to 2022 work. Like trying to build an entire stadium with nothing more than a crew of a few people and a pack of gum. It, it has felt for a while that Classic WoW has been an afterthought. Yeah, it, it does kind of feel like that sometimes. And it's not always a bad decision, but especially for these releases, it's a big deal. Well, listen... If Blizzard was chewing power gum, they probably could get this job taken care of because power gum would give them the power that they need in the form- How much do you want to fucking bet that the last time that I reacted to one of Stay Safe's videos and I commented that he didn't advertise his gum in the video, he probably saw my reaction to his video and now he's doing this. ...of caffeine, vitamin B complex, that's vitamin B3, B6, and B12, and vitamin D, that they would have, they would need the energy Smart, to get this yeah. project taken care of. So yeah, they're probably chewing some other off-brand type of gum, but if they had power gum in the bio of the description down below, they could do it. I believe in them. In fact, Blizzard, I'll Elite send you a pack for free, okay? I'll, I'll take the L on that. And I'm not blaming you, Blizzard, or the devs working on Classic specifically. I am blaming the company blizzard its executives its finance team whoever is responsible for the complete lack of support for this massive game that is classic wow well. no the people that are at fault here are the ones that set up the um uh that they set up the what's the word for this they set up the budgets right like there's a certain amount of budget and the people that organize how many people are going to be on the team i am assuming that the actual people that work on Classic WoW are working their ass off. I don't think they're just sitting around doing nothing. I think they're working their ass off. And, and I think that the problem is a, uh, it, it's a leadership problem. Absolutely. No, Cap? No, I mean, I, I don't know. Am I crazy to think that there are 
there have been a tremendous amount of positive changes for Wrath of the Lich King, and it seems like everything that could be accomplished by a small team of people that are in tune with the community has been accomplished. I feel like that's a that's a fact, or it's pretty damn close. In this one instance, you're crazy. I, You really think that I am crazy in saying that a massive multi-billion dollar corporation is trying to penny pinch? And it is not the fault of the individual people that are working on the game? Well, I don't know about that. This guy is just popping off. Um, I am beyond tired of pretending like Blizzard might even care slightly that we might get something, anything, that could be more than the complete bare minimum for a service we pay 15 USD a month for yeah. that asked of us to spend 25 USD per character to fix the issue of our characters being stuck on completely dead realms rather than offer a sensible solution a year ago. To be fair, they are, they are offering free transfers off of a lot of realms. To be fair. When you offered a bulk character transfer to retail, but said tough luck to Classic and told us it was a single transfer only, how incredibly insulting. How in the world That's can very I, good point. or anyone, not think Blizzard is purposely treating Classic as nothing more than a joke, than a money printing machine, that you have anywhere close to the amount of developers a project like this actually needs? Pray tell me, why have you not up- Ah, it's a Final Fantasy Andy. Yep, see, look at that, guys. Another uh, another incognito Final Fantasy Andy has tried to come in here and making Blizzard look bad again. I can't believe it. Yeah, see, he exposed himself. It's a double agent. We got him, boys. Nice try. ...dated your game code to follow the basic standards of online services in the 2020s. Why in the past two years of Classic has Blizzard not spent the resources necessary to make the issue never happen on the release of the most anticipated release, re-release, of the decade? Pray tell! Why are we playing Classic Reforged? As in Warcraft 3 Reforged, for those who missed the reference there. I know you can't fix your code in such a short amount of time for Wrath of Witch King release, it's too late now. That much is obvious. I know how long it takes to make changes. Even if Blizzard magically had an epiphany and decided to provide infinite amount of resources to classic development, you wouldn't have the time now. So we're fucked. Okay. All right. That's about all we need to know. So we're fucked. But Got for it. the love of all that is holy, we are tired of being treated like nothing more than walking wallets, second class citizens, by our company when all we ask for is the service we pay for to receive the amount of support it deserves, the amount of support it needs. This guy is incredibly based. This guy is incredibly articulate. Yeah. I'll give him the, be the benefit of the doubt that he actually does work in this industry and has some amount of knowledge regarding these issues. Sincerely, a disillusioned customer who still remembers the quality service 14 years ago when Wrath first released. Ah. Uh... So, if I remember what happened 14 years ago, whenever Old War came out, the servers did not even work for an entire day minimum. Wrath of the Lich King was down on many servers. It was a massive fucking disaster. Oh, he did. However, that was only for a day or so. Then it pretty much got better. He go, he goes on again. Oh shit! It's round two. There's a follow-up post. Another one by misspelled. I feel the need to clarify something since the reaction from from the community about my post seems to misunderstand my position. A lot of people questioning my legitimacy as a software engineer, and I don't want Egrand or anyone in the classic dev team to misunderstand my position either. In no way am I saying that it would have been cost efficient or not for them to have updated legacy code to function with modern online technology. The only ones capable of making the cost-benefit analysis on this are Blizzard devs themselves. Makes sense. I don't know what the classic code looks like. I don't know how hard it would be to update said code to support more modern online tech. I don't know their hardware. I don't know their finances. 
I don't know anything of what they are doing behind closed curtains. There isn't anyone alive on this planet, no matter their credentials, that would know about that, except for the ones that work on the game itself. Yeah, sure. What I do know, however, is that the statement that the tech doesn't exist is false. Regardless of what the cost would be, there is a solution. One that may or, not, may, may or may not be worth investing into. WoW Classic has its own set of challenges to deal with, and that is the dev's job to figure out, but challenges doesn't make something impossible. You can argue that on a cost benefit, that on a cost basis, it would be considered impossible, but now we would just be playing semantics. And sure, I perhaps, sure, perhaps I shouldn't read it so literally. Agrin most likely means it as there is no technology or hardware solution to this issue in the current context, time frame, and or associated cost, but this is exactly why I had a problem with the sentence. I think he's, uh, I think he is rightly taking issue with the way that it was originally said. It was originally said by Blizzard, there is no technology solution to this, there is no hardware solution to this. Yeah, see, like, I don't think anybody would ever believe that. I, I don't, like, how is that not, how is that true? But, like, Amazon can handle multiple millions of people getting on their website and ordering things on, like, Prime Day and Black Friday and Cyber Monday. How is that possible? How is it possible that... You know, League of Legends can serve, you know, way more people than Blizzard is serving with, with their games simultaneously. How is it possible that Ashes of Creation Alpha can have 500 people in an area and not have the servers fall apart? It's not the same? Well, then maybe it should be the same. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe they should look at what these other people are doing and then do what they're doing. Yeah, I think that, and like, I don't, I don't know, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, like, I have to default either to Blizzard or this guy because I'm not a, a server, you know, I'm not a ser server software engineer or whatever, right? But, um, this is framing it as that there literally is no technology yeah, solution, it can't hardware happen. solution or software solution to the issue. And, uh, obviously Ms. Bell agree, uh, disagrees with that, right? And sure, perhaps I shouldn't read it so literally because Agrand most likely meant it as there is no technology or hardware solution to the issue in the current context, time frame, and or associated cost. But this is exactly why I had a problem with that sentence because it just feels like a cop-out. Well, if there is a technology solution or hardware solution or software solution, then Blizzard is just lying to the player base to save face, right? That's, that's the implication, right? This is completely beside the point I was trying to make either way. The point is that there... The point is that this is just another, another issue on the long list of issues, and the only commonality between those issues is that, is that the amount of support provided to Classic is just too little. I think, hey, yeah. I think we can all agree with that. Chat, give me a true, if that is true, if Blizzard should invest more energy, time, and resources into making sure that Classic is operating at a basic place. I think it's very easy to tell if that's true or not. Uh, it's look at Season of Mastery. I think Season of Mastery is probably the best indication of how much development resources and time Blizzard has allocated to Classic WoW. Playable level. Because you cannot say right now that it's at a basic playable level. There are some serious issues that have been allowed to manifest, i.e. the server dynamic, and the solutions are completely inadequate and oftentimes just completely non-solutions, right? Wrong. I'm a Blizzard shield. True. Wrong. Uh, okay, that's a lot of trues. True. Yeah, there that you guy go. just popped off. So, what are the odds that this guy has his community council status uh, revoked? Within, within seven days, will this guy no longer be on the community council? No, I, I don't think Blizzard's going to take him off. I, I don't think so. People talk shit about Blizzard all the time. Yeah, they're used to it. They're, they're probably not going to take him off. I, I really don't think so. That would be a pretty just bad look. Ignore it, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I got to say, like... <laughs> In order for them to take him off, it would imply that they read the post. If the purpose of a community council member And is the thing to... is, the people that read the post will not be mad about him saying this because the odds are the community people agree with him. They're not the ones making the fucking financial decisions. They're like, yeah, he's right. Fuck. 
But you really think about it. So they're not going to get rid of him. Why would they? Give they their feedback, yeah, positive or negative, in order to foster communication between players and developers. If this guy is kicked off the council for holding Blizzard accountable it's or not, holding their feet to the fire, happen. then that is going to be a pretty bad look. And then that makes you question, what is the point of the per what is the purpose, what's the point of the community council if Blizzard can't handle some uh, criticisms or accountability from someone on said council? We'll see what happens to this guy. Misspelled? Huh, uh. I salute you. And by the way, I don't even know if Miss Bell is right because I don't work in this field. He says he does. He says he knows what he's talking about. But right now you have to pick, okay, is Blizzard right or is this guy right? I don't know. But it's either true. way, it's hard the, to say. The, 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 pro the problem is true. You don't have to have a degree or a PhD. You don't have to be a server uh, rocket scientist. You don't have to be a rocket scientist, PhD doctor, space doctor to understand that the state of Classic WoW is unacceptable. The server issue... Even manifesting in the first place is unacceptable. Paying a $15 a monthly premium to come home from work and sit in a four or five hour login queue to play on a server that you've been playing on maybe for three years now is unacceptable. Ima imagine if you've been playing on a server like Firemont or Gehennis or Benediction for three years. You made your very first character, character there on day one of Classic. Uh -huh. and Blizzard has allowed your yeah. server to get completely rotted out. Mm -hmm by their lack of action. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredibly frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating. This is a great example. Like, ima imagine if you came home from work and you wanted to watch a Netflix show and you opened up Netflix and there was a Netflix queue. It said, sorry. Uh, I like how Stay Safe draws an analogy to literally any other form of media that is on demand and a premium, uh, available for a premium. Because if there is any other form of media that was on demand and available for a premium that was not working properly, people would lose their fucking minds. Netflix servers are too busy right now. You need to wait five hours to watch your Netflix show. When meanwhile you're paying $10 a month or whatever it is for a Netflix subscription. It's ridiculous. It's unacceptable. You are literally paying a monthly service to use this. Somebody said in chat, somebody said, weren't New World and Endwalker launches also complete shit shows? Um, so New World's launch was really not that big of a shit show. It was only a shit show for like two or three realms, but everybody played on that. So it was really bad. I think with Endwalker, think about the language that they used explaining what the problem was with the Endwalker servers. They said that one of the big problems they had was that there was a chip shortage at the time, and because of the chip shortage, they were not able to solve the problem. They attributed the problem to partially the chip shortage. So, so what that means is that there is a solution. Because if there was a possible solution with the chip shortage, that would imply that the problem could theoretically be solved. You see what I'm saying? To to to, to engage with this, it's 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 unacceptable. Like it's it's unacceptable treatment of people that are paying a monthly premium to use the service. It's it's just there is no mm -hmm. excuse for it. It is unacceptable. And if there is no hardware or software solution to solve the issue, why have you allowed the issue to manifest in the first place? It is unacceptable yeah. from a from a company consumer relation level it is absolutely unacceptable that this is happening and i think consumers in the year 2022 are realizing that huh i'm paying 15 dollars a month to play this game that and I when i come home from a long day at work i've got four hours to play and the queue is four hours so by the time i get through the queue it's time to go to bed and do it all over again and oh i've boy. been playing on the server for three years and blizzard has allowed they have tolerated my server yeah. to get completely ruined by their lack of action or just completely incompetent actions it is ridiculous it is ridiculous for the customers to be treated this way by the company it's ridiculous um anyway there is that there is that i don't know if misspelled is right but the problem is very very true uh customers yeah. are being completely abused by blizzard in this situation it's unacceptable it's ha horse shit that's what it is it's horse shit uh, i and again the thing is, it's not up to the players to come up with the solution.
It's up to Blizzard. They got to figure this shit out, man. I think also one of the reasons why Blizzard, and this is like a bad situation for Blizzard to be in. Here's Stay Safe's video. Uh, go ahead and uh, give it a like. Give them a sub. We've been watching a lot of Stay Safe's videos recently. And uh, Lost Ark also has a huge queue. Yeah, and people fucking hated that. People have said many times Lost Ark is being mismanaged by Amazon. How many times have you guys heard that? That Amazon is killing Lost Ark. Lost, yes, Lost Ark is also free to play. That's a good point. Why can't Blizzard make a single good decision? Why can't Blizzard make a single good decision? They have been. I, I think that right now they're stuck in a position where if they wanted to make like multiple servers like benediction one two and three for example or sky fury one and two i think that what they would run into is a lot of people being upset about that because those people want the game to be the like what it was so like the the game like they have in their mind this is what the game should be like so whenever somebody comes in and they say oh well this is bad uh you know make it more modern and well, then that also makes classic Andes upset. Do you see kind of what I'm saying? So like you, you have a problem and then you also have customers that don't want the problem to be solved because solving the problem makes the experience less like what they imagined it to be. Do you see kind of what I'm saying? Screen is gives everybody 30 days free sub fee. Blizzard gives nothing and don't give a fuck either. No, they don't give nothing. They make you pay for a transfer because you only get free transfers off certain realms, to be fair. Uh, so it, it, it's going to be a while. It's one of the things where it's a weird misunderstanding from the community base. Why isn't Blizzard supporting the game more? Because uh, people are paying for it still. Why isn't the service better? Is this the service you're paying for? Because you're still paying for it. If Netflix had these issues, there'd be hundreds of millions of subs. And so on hundreds of millions of subs, it would continue this way. I think that's also a factor. Yeah, because people stay subbed. Uh, I mean, yeah, definitely. Like right now, uh, I mean, like I started, I got in queue at 3 p.m., somewhere around 3 p.m. I've been in queue for over two hours. Two fucking hours I've spent on this horse shit. And, and like, I just, wanted to, I just wanted to do Black Temple and, and, and uh, fucking uh, Sunwell today. And I'm, I'm doing it. Like, I, I don't care if I don't get to go to Chipotle today. I'm doing this. Like, we are clearing this raid today. I don't give a fuck. Like, it's happening. There's no... We're not stopping. Yeah, there's no brakes on this train. Check out the NARC video. I'm not going to look at the NARC video right now. I, I, I'm i going to just kind of talk about some other random stuff and uh, wait for the queue to end. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at, man. Play some Final Fantasy while you wait. I am going to be playing Final Fantasy again very, very soon. Uh, my plan right now is I'm going to start doing necromancer attempts probably in the next couple of days. Uh, I've wanted to finish up everything that I have on this server. And then after that, that's going to free up some time for me. And I'm going to start working on that again. Uh, I've already pretty much beaten Tower of Fantasy. Uh, my combat score is like 54,000. I have every single mount in the game. Every zone is 100% completed. I only need to get Grand Marshal in the PvP system and get number one in Bygone Phantasm. And then I quit the game. And so after that happens, oh yeah, 2.0. Yeah, are you taking Thor Dial? Am I taking the legendary bow from Sunwell? Well, you're going to just have to show up and find out. Yep, it's going to be a surprise. <laughs>